You're a three-time NCAA champion. It's your first Olympics. How would it feel to add an Olympic medal to that resume? It'd be a dream come true, I can say. Um, this is what I live for right here. All year I've been focusing on the indoor and outdoor season and um, leading up to this moment. Um, I made the team, was the goal I was reaching for, along with NCAA titles, SEC titles. Um, I mean, this was still the deal. This is make it a perfect season for me. How old were you when you started running track? I believe I was 12 years old. I believe that was sixth grade. And when did you realize you'd be sticking with track? Did you play other sports? I played football. Um, I wanted to do basketball, but it was at the same time during my track season in high school. I was big on football in high school, but um, my football coach said, you know what, to keep my speed up for uh, the next season coming up, I needed to do track. Um, I had some stumbles in high school career, track and field. Um, my healthy senior year is when I really opened my eyes. Got me a scholarship here. My freshman year, I walked on campus here. Placed third in the NCAA indoor. Um, at that time, I ran 45-75, coming off of 46-8 in high school. Um, my coach told me I had a dream, you know. He wanted me to make it to the Olympic team. He said he would possibly be a coach there, you know. And um, each year, I got better and better. So it just kind of opened up a door for me. Now that you're qualified, what has it taken to become an Olympic athlete? Hard work, I can say a lot of hard work, positive attitude, you know, you're not going to have every day out here and you're going to be great, you're not going to feel good, you know. You have to hydrate, eat right, sleep right, you know, discipline yourself. You've had Mike Holloway as your coach here at Florida, now he'll be an assistant on the Olympic team. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Coach Holloway is not only a coach, but he's just like a father figure to me. You know, Coach Holloway, he stays on me. Ever since I walked in, he took me under his wing. You know, he never gave up on me. Even when, like, times I were injured, you know, times I come out here and I wasn't able to show my full potential, you know, Coach Holloway stayed, stuck with me, you know, worked me through. And meet by me, he got me better. How excited are you just to, to get to London and start this? Oh, I'm very excited. Sometimes I can't even sleep at night. You know, I have visions of me over there running, like just to experience what it's going to be like. Even though I've been over there before in high school, I went over there with the high school band and marched in the parade. But now I'm going over there for the Olympics. And I hear this, this, well, this is the biggest main event of the year for me, and, and especially for the sport of track and field. What are your goals for this year? And do you see yourself in the Olympics in four years from now? Oh, of course, of course. You know, I'm going to stay here and train, you know, keep working hard, and get a little bit better each and every year. Um, my goals for over there, you know, I want a medal, of course, I want to get that gold medal. Um, set a new PR, you know, um, work out to the world record, you know, that'd be something great if I could do that, break the world record in the Olympics, you know, that, that'd be an all-time dream come true as well. You recently announced that you were going pro, Adidas is a major sponsor of yours. Did you know you'd be going pro, and what's that been like for you? I kind of had a feeling, you know, you kind of know once you progress through the season, you know, I had a great season this year, winning NCAA indoors and outdoors, and a great football four team, we're a young team, you know, we set the fastest time. So at that moment, you know, my coach kind of talked with me throughout the season, you know, he said, if I did the things I needed to do, put up good numbers, you know, I have no chance, no choice but to go. So after I did that and I proved myself, I knew at that time it was going to be time for me to go. I don't know how much you've been watching the other Olympic trials, but there's a lot of Gators that have punched their tickets to London. What does that say about the University of Florida? I mean, it's Gator Nation. When you come here, you're the best. They only recruit the best. And being here, you're going to be great no matter who you are. You can probably agree track is a very mental sport. Right. What can you tell us about your routine before you run a big event? You know, I think it starts the day before. The proper meal you eat, you know, waking up, getting the right amount of uh, hydration. You know, just staying, keeping everything positive, not doing too much, not being on social network as everybody like to tell me, you know. Just getting your mindset right and staying focused. Thank you so much and good luck in London. Thank you.